of all, I wanted to know what your vantage point was for everything that was going on at, at midcourt and then how you guys were able to get in the timeout, you know, come out and, and play the game from that point. Um, on a free throw, boxing out, you know, he, he tried to, Stewart tried to get physical with Brian. Brian did the same thing. You know, everyone in the league knows Brian not a dirty guy. That nearly hit him. As soon as he did it, he looked back at him and told him, oh, my bad, I didn't try to do it. And he tried to, I don't know what he was trying to do, but I know nobody on our team, uh, 1 through 15, was, was having it. You know, we're going to protect our brother. Um, I've never, in 10 years, seen a, seen a player try to do that. Well, since I've been playing, I mean, obviously we've seen it before, but um, back in the day. Um, but in recent basketball, like, it was uncalled for. You know, you got cut above your eye, accidental, like, you know, it wasn't <clears throat> on purpose. And, you know, we wasn't, we wasn't going to allow him to keep charging our, our brother like that. Like, I don't know what he was trying to do, but we wasn't going to allow that. And um, we just wanted to get the win for him, you know, get the win for our team, get back in the win column. And then just in the in the fourth quarter, you and Russ, both sides of the court, it seems like he was really aggressive early. You had a ton of plays on both ends in defense. Was was that an extension of that, or did you guys find something else on the court, some kind of spark? No, nah, we just needed to win. I mean, at the end of the at the end of the third, I think we were down 15, and um, Melo said, "This is where we um, figure out who we are as a team. You know, a must win game. Um, one of our guys are out." And guys just made some big plays, made some big shots. You know, Russ, big three, big time layups. Um, you know, Melo, big time threes. You know, everybody on the defensive end, big time plays. Um, we were able to get the win, you know, and, and we needed it. And, you know, hopefully this can spark, you know, a little fire under our, you know, what to, to get going. Um, but it feels good to get back in the win column. And that was my question for you is, was there one player that stood out? You said it was Melo that got you guys together. How did you guys keep your composure through all this and then get yourself ready to play again? Um, just got to stay a little, stay ready. I mean, you, know, you get a break like that, you know, especially when, you know, a situation like that happens. You know, the, the most important thing and the number one thing, you don't want anybody to get hurt, you know. Um, their side, their players might feel a certain way. Our players might feel a certain way. And, you know, you don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Um, but, you know, I, I think, you know, we, we stay composed. Um, and we had it in our mind that we wanted to win this game, no matter what the circumstance was, no matter what the score was. Um, we want to win this game. And we did it, in a, especially in the fourth quarter, playing how we're supposed to play, um, making the right reads, guys shooting in rhythm. Um, probably our best defensive quarter since <laughs> this season, you know, holding the team 17 points in the fourth. Um, so, you know, we got to build off of this, uh, especially on the defensive end. AD, kind of building off of what you were just saying about defense, <coughs> obviously you had some some really impactful defensive plays, including blocking Cade twice on the same possession. I'm just wondering, is there something different for you when you guys are playing defense at that level? Or maybe you personally, is are you reading the game differently? What's different that kind of sparks that energy from you or, or the group in the fourth quarter? It could be a steal. It could be a block. Um, you know, it could be a charge. It could be anything, you know. Um, but whatever it is, we got to make sure we do it. We haven't too many, you know, problems with, with – Straight line drives and blow bys, which putting our, which compromising our defense and putting guys in rotations too early. Um, so we got to do a better job of containing the basketball. But uh, the last five, six minutes of the game, we we're able to do that. And um, you know, I think when we're getting good rhythm shots and and not being selfish offensively, it kind of gets us back in transition and it get us get us a chance to set our defense. Um, and that's when we're really good. You know, when we when we're shooting bad shots and turning it over. You know, guys put their head down or, you know, complaining or whatever, and it compromises our defense. So as long as we're able to continue to do what we got to do on the offensive end, and when you see the ball go in, you know, you kind of want to stop, especially when you're down. Um, and we're able to do that. But we can't continue to dig ourselves in a hole um, and fight to get back. You know, we need, the ones, we need to be the ones that um, create leads and, and stick with them throughout the course.